rotate it. Let's, let's start by looking at the formula. Let's start with the formula, okay? So we know that the formula is given by x cos d minus y sine d. That's the x coordinate for the ref, um, rotation. And the y coordinate of the rotation is x sine d plus y cos d. But this is if we are going in the normal direction, which we measure angles, and that is anti-clockwise. Okay, so what happens if we are going in a clockwise direction? Well, clockwise direction angles are negative angles. So let's just replace it. Since we are doing it clockwise, we must replace it with negative D. That means we're going to have each time we see a D, we're going to replace negative D and see what happens. Now we know that cos of negative angles will still be positive while sine of negative angles will be negative. That means since cos of a negative angle will stay like that, nothing will change because it's still positive. But um, this one will become negative, making the negative in front a positive. Okay. Same goes for this one. The sine will get a negative while the cos will remain the same. So that one will become negative x sine d. And the y cos d remains exactly the same. And there we go. That is a formula for a clockwise rotation around the origin. Now, we're already given the fact that the image is 1 or negative 1 comma 2, which means we know that this is equal to negative 1, and we know that this is equal to 2, giving us two unknowns with the, with the one unknown, that's the other unknown, and we have two equations. Let's write down those equations. We have these two equations. Okay, pause it if you want to just confirm where I get it from. And uh, we already know D, that's the angle of rotation. So there we go. And now our next step would be to substitute or to evaluate cos of 330 and sine of 330 so we can place them with values that's easier to work with. So cos of 330 degrees is the same as cos of 360 minus 30. That means we're in the fourth quadrant where cos is positive. So that would give me the same answer as cos of 30 degrees. Cos of 30 degrees, if you know your triangle, 30 degrees is square root, sorry, uh, 1, 2, square root 3. So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, square root 3 over 2. Next up, sine. Sine of 33 degrees, 330 I mean, is equal to sine of 360 minus 30 degrees fourth quadrant sine would be negative in the fourth quadrant so if I use a first quadrant angle like 30 degrees sine would be positive but according to this sine must be negative because he's in the third quadrant so we just give it a negative as well okay and 30 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse for sine which means it's a half negative a half so we can substitute that into our formulas okay giving us the following formulas now these two are the two equations that we are going to have to solve simultaneously okay so we have two unknowns x and y and we need to solve them simultaneously 
Okay, the method I'm going to use is to first simplify both of them. So I'm first going to just multiply with a 2 um, on both sides. That side and that side is multiply everything with a 2 to get rid of the denominators and that gives the following equation or following two equations and now we're going to solve for x and substitute it into the other um, equation. We can also solve for y and substitute in here. Um, either way you should get the same answer if you do it correctly. So here if we get x on its own we get 4 minus square root 3y. So now we're going to take this um, expression for x and substitute it in there. Now that gives us negative 2 is equal to square root 3. Instead of x we're going to write 4 minus square root 3y. Okay minus y. Simplify by multiplying in and we get negative 2 is equal to 4 square root 3. Negative th uh, square root 3y times square root 3 gives me 3y minus y. And now just to save some time I'm going to just do it quickly. That tells me that y is equal to square root 3 plus a half. When we take this value and substitute it now into this formula, so we're going to just substitute y there, we get x is equal to 4 minus square root 3 and y is replaced with square root 3 plus a half and this you can pause and check to confirm you get the same answer will be equal to 1 plus oh sorry minus square root 3 over 2 so let's go input our answers Okay, the first part asks us what is the formula for the image. Okay, and uh, we worked out the formula, and this one is specifically the one for the counter or the uh, clockwise direction, and that is x cos d plus y sine d minus x sine d plus y cos d. Just check and check. That looks good. Make sure to preview to make sure your syntax is correct. Okay, next. Therefore, if we substitute all the known values we have, okay, so we'll substitute our values. x cos is 330 plus y sine 330 preview our syntax is ok let's preview it that looks good ok now we evaluate the trick functions that is where we had these two equations so we have negative 1 is x square root, we do SQRT, square root 3 over 2, plus y, 1 over 2, oh, but remember it's got a negative, okay, and same with the other one, okay, let's just preview, that looks good, here we go, that's exactly what we've had in this expression, then the rest we will have to do on our rough work and finally get to the two answers. Our answer for x is 1 minus square root 3 over 2 
and this one square root 3 plus the half let's just preview it also gives us the calculated amount oh that one's wrong okay it's good I previewed it here we go let's preview again there we go that's a correct answer 